Today's agenda is to present the draw procedure, uh, to remind you what you have to check before the draw, uh, how the draw display works, um, how you can change the draw after it was made, and if you have any questions, we'll be more than happy to answer. So, uh, in the preparation of the draw, uh, there are a few steps that should be made always. So, check that the draw animation is enabled. Um, I will go in, in more detail for every, uh, ev every of these steps. Then you need to prepare draw configuration, ranking, and set all the seeders by ranking, print category list, uh, draw display, you have to set correct settings, then you need to test the draw, then is the whole draw procedure, and in the end you print the draws. So this is important uh, that the draw animation is enabled. You see now, uh, you see um, where you can find this. So you go to this settings step, settings, and then this draw animation. You need to enable that to have a draw display. And then the draw configuration. There are a few things that need to be set correctly. So first thing is repassage type. You have to choose it here. Then draw type, I will explain it more detail later. Separation of the competitors is usually by countries in uh, all judo based competitions. And then, of course, you need to re remember to set the number of seeders. So, and the repassage type, these are the options uh, the system offers. So, last state or quarter final repassage, double repassage, no repassage, single repassage, and full repassage. These are all the options. You have in the system for judo based competition, usually it's last eight or double repassage. But in special occasions, it can be no repassage or single repassage. Um, then you have a draw type. So for judo based competition, you can either select IGF or you can adjust the draw for uh, different numbers of competitors. So I will show you click on configure, unclick set default, and then save. So we will go through this procedure practically. So these are systems for two and three competitors. So we can have, um, like you see here, only one contest. You can finish after two wins, or you can have all three contests. I will go through all these settings so you know uh, what is uh, what is which of these settings. So only one contest means that you have only one contest. Then after two wins means it's best of three. But uh, after one competitor wins both of the matches, the third match will go out of the contest order and the, con the category will be finished. Then for uh, three competitors, you can have one round, you can have two rounds, or you can have one round and final. In the, out in the SOAR, for the IGF competitions, is round robin with final, uh, as far as I know for the most of the competitions. Then for uh, system for four, you either have round robin or you have IGF means semi-final plus, plus final and one third place uh, contest. This is uh, the second one is the one that is usually used on the IGF competitions. And then for the five competitors, you either have round robin or IGF means two groups. Uh, in one group, you have three competitors. In one group, you have two competitors. And then you have final and third place uh, contest. So the IJF is the one that is usual for judo based competitions. Um, and then you can uh, also have. Um, oh, okay. Oh, here it is <laughs> system for six or seven competitors. So you can have pool system, which is usual for um, IJF competitions. You can have two groups and final. You can have two groups, semi-final plus final, or you can have round robin. And for seven, you have pool system, two groups per fin final, two groups, semi-final and final. So these are the options for IGF competitions for seven or more, compet uh, six or more competitors, we use pool system. So all these are options that you can set. And then you have separation of competitors. And seeders. So separation of competitors, you can either separate them. You can have two levels. 
for first level is the one that will be higher. For example, uh, if you have national competitions, you can have like uh, the, uh, put them in different spot uh, places, uh, first on the club and second on, on the region or vice versa. But for um, judo based competitions, the usual usually you have to have separation by countries on both levels. And then we have a number of seeders, so we can choose eight seeders, four seeders or zero seeders. These are the usual number of seeders uh, in the competitions. And then there is uh, one other thing. It can happen that you have uh, two or even three competitors uh, on the like seeder six or even seeder one. You can have more seeders in the same place. So what the program will do, it will make pre-draw between all these on which position they are. Or sometimes you have like three people, like eight seeders, and the draw will make the pre-choice um, pre of which of these competitors will be on the eighth place and the other two will be just randomly put anywhere. So uh, this is not visible, this is just done automatically. So you know if someone asks you why it is like this. So do you have any questions about this part? You can you can also ask later if there will be any questions. So then ranking. Uh, this is quite important. Um, ranking. So the position of the people in the ranking list must be refreshed from judo base. So this is done here. You go to data. You select clean data and fetch and click on rankings. What this will do, it will take the latest position from the judo base. Uh, why is this important? Uh, it can often happen that the ranking is refreshed days before competition. It can be even like sometimes two days or in some special cases, you know, when there is some complaint or some change of country or whatever, this can be even done a day before competition. So to get the accurate ranking list, it's good to just uh, refresh, so fetch this data about the ranking. So this must be done from judo base to get the latest data. But then when you have done this, you set all seeders by ranking. So this is this button in the accreditation section. What this button will do, it will look uh, which ranking position is already in the desktop and it will set seeders according to this ranking that is already in the system. So it will look like, OK, this person has this ranking ranking in the system and it will just put seeders according to this. So if you just change the number of seeders, for example, you, you have set it to four, but now you figure out you have eight, you click this button. This button should be clicked after you finish the accreditation, because what can happen during the accreditation? It can happen that one person didn't come or that one person changed the category and he was he was seated before. And after you have removed this athlete or removed him to the other category, you have to set seeders again, otherwise you will have seeders wrong. So this you sh should be done after the accreditation is finished. Then you will have correct seeders. You can also always set seeders manually, but you know it's easier to make a mistake if you set them manually. So this button, click it after you finish the accreditation. Um, and then we go, what you usually do before the draw is print cat uh, con category control list. So this is usually uh, put to the Telegram group uh, so everyone can check if the seeders are set correctly, if ranking is correct, if everyone is included so people can make uh, any complaints or, or make any less changes if something was not correct. So here is the small description how to do it. And after you do this, you come to the actual draw. So you can make a draw in the system without a draw display. This is usually done, for example, for veterans because there are so many categories there that it will take too long. Uh, so this, you, I will show you later how you can do it just without the uh, draw display. 
But usually, um, for most of the judo-based competition, you need this draw display so you can put it online and you can stream it and so on. So it is important that you set this correctly. So first, of course, you have to select the server. Uh, then you have to select what you want to have displayed. So here it's like logo and what you want to show. Usually you want to show country and country flag um, in the, the draw display. And of course you want to have the correct logo. Then you select the team that you want to use. And audio settings. Do you want to have uh, music and draw mix? These are two different types of music that will be used. And of course service must be running um, to be able to use draw display. Then uh, what is usual and uh, what uh, I know Eli and Corina always say, they never do draw without testing the draw. So it is really important that you test that everything is working correctly. So first thing you need to do is turn the synchronization off. Because if you have synchronization on, then all the draws you're making will go online and people will see the draw before the draw should be made. And if this is on when you're doing the testing and you find out that you, you had this on and you were doing some test draw, please inform us immediately because it's not enough that you turn this off because you already sent that online. We have to clear the base as soon as possible. Otherwise, people will see the draw online and this is not a good idea. Yes. Um, so if this happens that you have this on during the test, uh, please inform the control group, uh, control room immediately so we clear the, the base. Um, so after you do this, you go through the whole procedure, which will look, look later. In the end, you have to unconfirm the draw and clear the draw. So you come to the clear state, uh, so you have everything clear before you do the official draw. This is quite important. Then the draw procedure. So you go through presentation mode, welcome, overview of the countries, athletes, category breakdown, and then you select the age category or gender you want to have first. Because in the program, the men are on the top and the women are on the bottom. So if you want to have the women first, uh, I mean, in the in the list. <laughs> so if you want to have women first, you have to click on women, go through, and then we will continue to the men's category. Um, you can use forward button, or you can select from the list which button you want to use. Um, then at the end, you print the draw. Uh, print the draw means you will probably physically print some of the sheets but you can um, export to PDF and again, post it on the Telegram group, um, wherever you need to. Um, so why do we have two steps in the draw? Uh, you have draw and confirm, we'll check later, and unconfirm and clear. So in case you need to make changes in the draw without clearing it, you can unconfirm the draw, uh, control double click will put the contestant out of the draw and then you can drag and drop him to the different spot and then confirm the draw again. So these are the basic information and now we will check everything in the program how it is done. Um, please ask if you have any questions. I can stop in the middle and go back or show something. Yes, Ali. Ali, do you have a question? Okay, so we go to the server. Have a server now? Okay. Um, so this small button here is a setting step. So we click this setting step, go to settings, and here you have draw animation. So this port should be enabled. If this port is not enabled, uh, you won't be able to make a draw presentation. So you can check this if this is enabled. And then we go to the um, competition section. 
competition segment. And the first, okay, here you have all the general informations, categories and so on, and we go to draw configuration. So here in the draw configuration, you choose, you can change the repassage, for example, and here draw type. For judo-based competition, it should be IGF. EU, AGU, AGU is, this is how it used to be for the AGU competition, and it uses round robins, as you see here. So for judo-based competition, it's usually IGF rules. So it's IGF, IGF um, draw type, but I can go here to configure, click this one, so it will not use default, and now I can change to whichever I want. If I click use default, it will go back to the, and I click save. So like this, I can change this one to round robin, save, and it will be round robin. So you can go through this to check if you're not sure which ones you should use. Then, like I said, countries is the usual distribution of comp competitors. And now I can set seeders here, for example, to four. Or usually it is eight. So these are the basic settings that you should always check before, um, before the draw. Any questions about this? No? Okay. Then we go to accreditations here. I will like just confirm um, confirm everyone. So I have all confirmed. Better like this. Bye. So, okay. Here, here you can see the status. You see, it's confirmed. So if I click here, I put unconfirmed, he's just registered. So like this, you have all confirmed. You can also, for example, I will go down here. I will unconfirm one. I can sort them by status. Um, I can also here, you, you have a filter. So I can just say, okay, show me all registered and they'll just show me this person so you can use these filters to uh, easier find someone who is um, not confirmed okay i will just go to this category and i will unconfirm two people so we will see what happens if they're unconfirmed Okay, then I have all this done. I go to set all seeders by ranking. And this will update the seeders by the ranking I already have in the system. I will get the pop-up message when this is done. Seeders were successfully set. So what if I want to refresh the ranking position of the competitors? because I'm not sure if the ranking positions are correct. I go to data, clean data and fetch, and I click ranking. This is a test base, so I'm not, uh, we're not connecting it, it to the real base now, but if I clean rank, ranking, only the ranking position of everyone, of every competitor in the system will be um, updated. So by clicking this. And then after I have done this, I set all seeders by ranking. Um, it is also possible to set seeders manually. So I go here. If I click here, you see this one is the seeder. I can put set seeder and I can, for example, change this seeder to number one. And this seeder will be number one. So it is possible to change this manually. And I put now two on. Uh, to see there's on the same position, so we will see what happens uh, when I try to draw. So these are, um, this is about the ranking. 
Um, I will just show you now how it's usually done for the national competition. So I just want to draw. I put draw and I will get these notifications. This, these seeders are not arranged in order. So if you will have two seeders on the same position, which can happen, it's, it's completely okay. If I want to continue with draw, I click yes and the draw will be made. So if I do the draw like this, for example, if you have veterans competitions where we don't have draw display, you have to do this and then you have to confirm. I can also do it like this to mark everyone, say draw, it will draw all the categories and then I mark everyone and I say confirm. And now the draw is made. There was no draw display, but the draw is made. So it is okay. Then I can click unconfirm, clear draw. So when you will be doing tests, it's really be careful that you not only unconfirm draw, but also clear the draw. Any questions about this? Um, for uh, um, control list, I have to, for example, you will usually choose choose uh, only the categories you will have on first day. For example, I can choose this. Click on control list. You can control them, control all category or um, control list. Um, I guess you will do them all because um, you need to control everyone before the draw. But sometimes it can happen that you will have draw just for certain categories, then you will do this. You can do it like this. So I will have here, everyone can check. You can go through all the, the categories. Sure. Yes. Okay, when the, here on the bottom, on the top, you see these empty spaces. Here is the shortcut to the print. So once the draw will be made, you will see categories here and you can just click on it uh, for easier printing uh, and checking of the categories. Okay. We can continue to the draw display. So you see the icons here. So these orange icons, it's only display. This only displays something that is done in the main program. And the blue icons like scoreboards, uh, weighing model, uh, accreditation model also sends information to the main server. So this only shows what is actually, what is actually done in the, the server. So here you can write local host, you can write IP address, you can write the name of the computer, uh, all this will work. And then this is just cent central settings, just takes settings from the server. You can have this off and just manually select which logo you want to have. So for example, I can put European Union logo or I can put International Federation logo. Uh, you want to show country and country flag in the draw. So check that you have this marked. And then this, these are the different uh, backgrounds to the draw, the teams that will be used for the draw. So for now we have these ones. Um, if the Continental Federation wants to have their own uh, version of this, uh, it can be made also, but we need some time to integrate this into the program. Uh, of course, first we need to have the graphic design for this. And then this is music that can be usually you want to have um, both on. And then I click save. So this is now prepared. I will just have them both in the same computer so you can see what's happening. And then I want to put welcome first. So this is the first screen. Then I go to overview countries. So check this, athletes overview and category breakdown. So this is displayed um, 
the size of this window is not <laughs> the best now, but just for you to, to see. And now I want, for example, I want to have women first, so I put, I go to the women, and then I can go with the forward button here on top. I can go forward, and we'll go here. I put forward again, it will go to category. Maybe I make this a little smaller. And then the forward is gone. Uh, this, I will go to the list. I go forward, I will go to the draw. And you see the icon is moving here on the, uh, where I'm, I have the cursor now, here on the top. So if I go to, it takes some time, so we should always wait till the, the draw is finished before you go to the next. But if I go to the next, you will see it goes to category. I go forward, it will go to the list. I go forward, it will go to the draw. So I can also choose manually what I want to do. So for example, something went wrong and you, you clicked forward too fast. You didn't show it. You want to go back to this category. And now, if I go forward, it will go again through everything. You know, and maybe you don't want, uh, okay, this, if I go back to the category where the draw was already made, forward will not work. I have to click on the draw to, to display draw. So if you understand, this is playing, but I went forward too fast to this, and I won't go, go back. I go to 52 and I go to draw. And it will put me directly to the draw again. So, you know, if something um, unexpected happen or you click too fast to the next category. Yes, any questions? Hi, David, hi, David. Anya. David. Anya, hi. Hi. Yeah, I would like to, uh, yeah, just go. Uh, picking up from what uh, you were explaining. Just a second. Uh, just a second, because just a second, I don't hear you that well. Okay, now can you ask ask again? Yeah, uh, I would like to go back to what uh, you were just saying just now. Uh, there is no chance that if you click forward, uh, there we, uh, another draw will be done. Um, draw will not be repeated. So immediately when draw is done for the first time, if you go back, it won't be done again. Yes, the, okay. the draw won't change because this is just displaying. This is just displaying what has, is done on the on the server. So if, Thank if you. I go back to 48, it will just show me the same draw that was already made. It won't make Thank the draw again. Thank you, Anna. Anya. Okay. Displaying what is, is done in the server. Um, but it can come to the confusion, you know, if, if it can, you know, click something that is, so like this, you can go through the whole procedure. Um, if the draw was already made, forward button, will not work, you have to click on the draw. Just this button here, draw, and it will show you. And I go to the next category, I go forward, and you see here that the draw is not made. I have to press forward. And now I have this draw that is already done. And like this, I can go through the whole procedure. I will just, like click very fast so you see that this is and uh, after i will finish with the uh, over 78 kilograms you see that it jumped to men and i can continue with the this will be shown before the men cat men's category and then I can continue with the draw like uh, draw display like this. 
Okay. Um, any questions about this draw display? Yes. I have a qu one question. So, for example, we we're making the test, right? I mean, the test is you have to do it just in the server, or you can do it also in the in the other screen in the in the draw presentation. Yes. Oh, yeah. Um, it it is good that you have another screen to 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 put the uh, draw display on the other screen. You know, okay. it, you you won't you won't be doing like this. You want to have this display separately, so we will probably stream it. Uh, that it depends on how we want to stream it. Okay, so do... we make the test like this, and then we have to clean it. And yes, and... yes. Okay. So once you once you have finished with the test, so what you do? The best the best thing to do here you see they're confirmed and they're unprepared. So, but I can click on all and I do unconfirmed and I click on all and I put clear. Okay. And thank you. Thank it you. has to be white unprepared. That means the draw will be made anew. So whatever you were clicking before will have no impact on the draw that will be made next. It's random. But you know it is important that this is cleared. So because you know draw should be made officially. Okay. Uh, yes. Be careful that you're off. Yes. Yes. This is what I said. See here off. Really important that you check that the synchronization is off. If you want to be, I... yeah, if you want to be double certain, you can just, you know, unplug your computer from internet. Even better, you know, to be sure. And then clear everything and then it will be okay. And I suggest to have the screen, also screen, not only the screen to show to the ones managing the the draw, but also screen for yourself. So you avoid to have the window open on your screen and you see exactly what is going on. This also avoids the double sound that sometimes happened. Yes. Because if you have double, it can be that you have the sound on on one and the sound on on the other, and you have a double a double sound. Yes. It is it is important that you just have one program open on one computer, like use one server, and it is not good to have two programs open here. Should be just one program. This is login. You no, know? you don't have it open twice or even three times or whatever. Just have this one open and one server to do everything on. Okay. Last, I will just last make sure Anya, if you can go back to the yeah, if you do, because it happened that you have like a last very last minute cancellation. Yes. And you have to check if you have to reload the ranking because it can yes. be that the last minute cancellation is a seeded one. So you yeah, have yeah. to reload it, reload yeah. the ranking and so on. You yeah. you got the make sure that you go to all category on the on the on the left you select where, wherever you cancel but then when you go to the draw yes you select all yes you select all and then you go to the 48 because otherwise you get stuck because it's already open and yeah. if in the case it gets stuck you can use the draw and preview directly instead of forward. Yeah, yeah, that's what I, what I explained before. Yeah. But Everybody. yeah, so I, I explained the about the yeah, yeah, I explained about the seeders before. Um, but yeah, you should always like go through this procedure. Like yeah. I explained. Okay. Um, you see now I have. Two programs open. Just one on you. Yeah. I was uh, playing around and I opened another one. So um, I will make, uh, and also the other important thing if this service is not running, if I stop the service, 
uh, the draw display will not function because the the server is not sharing the information with other uh, other um, modules. So service must be on for the draw animation to work. Okay, I, I will show you this special case which should not be used uh, normally, but in some special occasion it can happen that you need to do it and it's good that you know how it is done. So for example, they want to, I will use some other category with more free spaces. So they want to have this competitor somewhere else for whatever reason. Um, I click control and double click. Oh, first. I unconfirm the draw because when it's confirmed, I cannot do anything. So in this status where the draw is made, but it's not confirmed, I can change it. So control, double click, and this competitor will be put out. And it is now here. It is marked with different color. So I can drag drag and drop this, this competitor somewhere, somewhere else. So what I want, for example, I want to put him here. I, I also put this one out. And now I put this one back here, so he's not put to the second round. I put this one here, and I confirm. And you see what was done? This one was moved to the second round, and these two are here. This is not supposed to be done, but you know, you you need to know maybe there is some special reason why this should be done. Um, like I said, you can manually. Um, Put the seeders also, and here is where you disqualify overweight athletes. So, for example, if I uh, disqualify Edaro, he will be crossed over like this. But I can also requalify him. So, I disqualify the wrong one, I can requalify him. So this is the the special, um, maybe some special uh, occasion where this needs to be done. And now you see up here, I have these categories. So if I go here, I will get the contest sheet immediately. There is maybe some ad one other information. This is the uh, sponsor banner. This is the place for the sponsor banner. So if you don't upload the sponsor ban banner, you will have this in your prints. So sponsor banner is this change report sponsors. So here you have to choose one uh, banner you have. You, of course, have to save it, and it will appear here. So if you have no sponsor banner, you will have this. Uh, on your all, all your prints. So it is a good idea to have it before you send it out because sponsors are usually not very happy if you do this. Um, questions? Any questions about this? This has to be done in all computers. I mean, it's not... Uh, uploading from one, if you're doing the accreditation and you have this done in one computer, <coughs> then you download the data in another computer, you have yes. to charge the report in the other one as well. Yes, if you change same, the computer. Same in between. with the accreditation cards. Yes. It's not moving, it's not stored offline, it's not stored in the cloud, you had to do it. No. Okay, then one other thing, if you want to for whatever reason, you want to change the computer to the other computer. So you go to data here, and you have this database. So working with database. So you click here, and you go backup database to file. When I do this, it will remind me you have to stop the service. Because if the service is on, then the backup won't be, won't be good. So I stop the service. I back up database to file. And you already see that I have already files here. And you see that there are, the name of the file is test event, so the name of the event, and then the date when it was stored. So I can save 
this file. So this is also when you will be practicing uh, with the database we sent. Um, what you can do now, I want to restore database from file on the other computer. I go here, I choose the file that I want to use. For, for example, I will use now this one, which is uh, older. I have to write yes, like this, to overwrite it. And I will get the message which file was restored. So now if I will go to the draw, you see the draws are not made because I, I put some old database. So like this, you can change the, the databases before or between computers. This is the safest way. And also it is uh, like a good practice. You can back up it to file on your computer, but it's a good practice also to, to back up database to cloud. You will have access to this database and only the administrators will have access to this database. Even I don't have access to this uh, database in the cloud. Uh, it is protected, so you know others cannot access this database in the cloud. Only the one who made the database and the the admin. Uh, but it is good to make this this um, backup after the competition. So if there are any issues, any problems, uh, or it can, uh, it is possible to go back and check, you know, what was happening or whatever. Uh, I think for you, it is also good to make this database for yourself on your computer. So later, if you want to check something, um, you, ca you can do it uh, in, in these databases. Um, so also, you know, if you want to be, be sure, uh, if you want to make some backups and uh, stuff like that, um, you can do it here. Always stop the service. So it is not a good idea to do it during the competition because you have to stop the service and that means stop the information going to scoreboards and contest order displays and so on. Maybe for a really short period of time, but it should not really be done. So just to have some additional information. Any more questions about draw? Or maybe some other question about Judo Manager. Maybe you asked, maybe we didn't clear it well enough. Um, Whatever that is concerning. Um, uh, if you do the backup and you yes. move to another computer, the order of fights is not going to get there. If not updated lately. No, well, it I mean, should it should go the that the whole week, database, all the information should be should go with the last database. Week it was not going. Yeah, because for example, if I, uh, um, it sh it should if if you do it through uh, backup, all the informations that are on the server uh, sh uh, should be in this database. Everything. So we can just we can check it. Like for example, I go here to the contest order. What was uh, not going last time? Yeah, but it doesn't go through synchronization, but it goes with the database. Okay. Yeah. Okay. So if I put like we can try. So if I put no, no, no. I, I trust yeah. you. I was. Yeah. It's just that it's the, there is one of the modes to to have yeah, it yeah. that is not is not moving from one to the other. So probably the synchronization. Yeah. So th this this is quite maybe important too. I can show you like this this synchronized data and show and sync data. So this. Um, synchronization sends data online, but it doesn't send everything that you have in the server. It just sends information, you know, to the that database that uh, not not completely everything is is going there. So this unsync data shows you if there is any data that is not synchronized online. So, for example, you have bad internet or Usually the problem is unstable internet. It's good for a moment and then it drops and it's good again. And this can mess up synchronization a little bit. So what you can do is check this unsync data. So again, show unsync data. And then you have unsynchronized and errors. 
so we can check uh, unsynchronized data and, and errors also. So, yeah, I have no problems because I didn't synchronize anything. <laughs> so, show unsync data. So, I can mark this unsync data and I uh, click synchronize selected and it will synchronize this selected data online. If I have errors, I have to mark these errors, and I said un, uh, mark select, no, unmark selected at sync. So when I do this, it will put them like white, and I can select them again and synchronize them. This is a little messed up because we didn't synchronize anything and there is no competition to synchronize this because it's just a test base. But just to know, you know, sometimes there is some problems and we say, uh, can you check unsync data? And then you can check this data and you see, okay, nothing is synchronized here. Of course, there is a lot of information. I can also mark everything like this. And I say synchronize select. So this is sometimes where something is not synchronized online. OK, any more questions maybe? I, I have one question for you. Did you maybe manage to practice with the database we sent? Do you have any questions about this practice database? So this was this is just this is what competition that um, we have now this test event. So you can play with it, and if you want to start a new, like new version, like I said, go here, restore database from file, and you can import the original file again, and you can start from scratch. Um, this is maybe one other thing that could be used in special cases. Um, it can happen. Um, not usually for judo based competitions, but maybe if you will have some local competitions or something, it can happen that in one age group you have a, a last later repassage, and then younger age group you have double repassage. So I can select this, I go to the draw, and I draw only the categories with the quarterfinal repassage. For example, I will just choose in this um, case, I will just choose men. And I will say draw. You see that I had a warning that I have unconfirmed athletes. So this is also a warning that don't continue with unconfirmed athletes. And now I will go to draw and I will put double repassage. I will go back to draw. I will draw women. And now here, you see I have double repassage. And here I have quarterfinal repassage. So what are the settings before you make a draw? The, these settings the, the program will use. So um, if you have made a mistake and you have made a draw with the wrong repassage type, unfortunately, <laughs> you cannot correct this otherwise than clear the draw um uh print all the pdfs uh that you have clean the draw and uh and then put people manually like i can clear the draw and i can just put people manually so if you make the wrong repassage type you you will have to put everyone manually so i recommend to maybe double check before you start the draw it, it it's it cannot be it cannot be automatic like i want to change you can make it a new draw but if you want to keep this draw it basically print everything save them and then manually drag and drop them to the correct spot any more means, questions means that you can have two different kind of repechage in the same event yes yes this is this is uh, useful for uh, lower level competitions where it can happen that you have uh, in one competition uh, 
two different um, uh, competition systems. Um, we have one question. I, I'm just about the ranking. When you click clean data and fetch and click ranking, will it enable auto synchronization and download the ranking, or will it download the ranking without synchronization? Oh, okay. This will, if you go to here, clean data and fetch, it will only update the ranking of the competitors. It will not do anything else. It will just pull down the the latest ranking that is online. So, like I said, if there are changes lately, go here, click this, and it will get the latest ranking. Uh, it can also happen sometimes there can be an issue with country flags, especially, you know, maybe it can happen on one competition that you put a country in on the spot. It's, it's not usual, but, you know, it can happen that you actually put one country in on the spot. Then it can happen that you will not have country flag in the program because, you know, it was put in the spot. So just go here, clean and fetch country flags, and it will update all the, uh, the, the flags you need to have in the system. Also, you can have just person's images. Uh, club images probably won't apply to judo-based competitions. But these are because these, these were the issues most commonly had, and we didn't want to refresh all the data from the database, so that's why we put just ranking. Yes. Um, this um, present time block, um, like I said, this will start blinking like this red when it is out, when the time block is finished, where you're out of this time block and 15 minutes before this happens. So this is a warning to you that you have to extend the time block. Just like a warning. So we go here and you extend the time block. Now, of course, it's blinking because we are out of this time block. So any other? What is the maximum number of athletes supported on, in one category? We had the biggest number we had was 256. 256 was the, the system for 256 was the biggest that uh, we had running. It was on a national level. On international level, it was uh, 128. This can easily happen because if there are more than 64 athletes, it's uh, 128. But we also had uh, the one bigger is 256 already ran on this. Uh, I think full repassage is not supported with that number but all the others are. Because I don't think anyone wants to have full repassage with over 100 athletes. So this is this is this is already done and tested so Whoever wants, just let us know. Whoever wants to have demo, just uh, write or send a message to the webinar group. We will um, be happy to give you. OK, I will also post uh, the link to the latest version. I think most of you already got it in the um, uh, control room groups. Yes. OK, I will. Uh, you, you will get this warning. For example, I have this uh, category here. And again, I will put header in order and I will put this one set header one. And when I um, go to draw, okay, I was playing a little bit too much. Confirm, clear draw. Okay, I will go to this category. And I will put this either like this. And I will say, okay, draw this category. And I will get this 
and I will get this warning that they're not arranged in order. So I can check if it's it's okay. It can happen that this is okay. Uh, if this is okay, then I say continue. If no, I go no and I change them here. So this you, you can go through every category and you know just click on seeders and it will arrange them so you can check if they're okay. What happens uh, if there are two? Other, <laughs> on the other end, sorry, Anya. One, yes. one, 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 and three is not correct because it should be like one, one, two, three, four, five. Yeah, yeah. Because and I said he that does, he does the. I think. I don't remember how it. It can be one, one, three, four, five, and like this. It cannot be one, one, two. It must be one, one, three. Okay, it's like it's like this. And it does it does the internal uh, draw, no? Yeah, it does the internal draw. For example, um, it can happen often. Uh, in eight. 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 Yeah, yeah, either eight or it can ha often happen like this for uh, uh, continental uh, competition, especially for cadet juniors. Uh, at yeah. the beginning, you know, you have a lot of on the same on the same ranking, especially cadets. You know, after one or two competitions, you can have them multiple on, on one. So it will have six, it will have it will have like this, or you can have here more. See the eight and again see the eight. Yeah. More, you can have more multiple. Than, more yeah. than eight seeded. Yeah. You can and it it will select between them the 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 eight and the others will be just put uh, randomly. What happens if you have two judokas in the same category with the same name? Uh, you will have usually different countries. If you will have the same country, uh, there will be two different athletes, but then you will have probably to check uh, some more information about which is which. Uh, but uh, on national competitions, we had this multiple times uh, with the same name. And I think it was also one judo-based competition when we had the... Yeah. We always suggest, in this case, we always suggest the federation because it's a problem for them when they inscribe to know which one it's really inscribed to put like a, a, another another letter or the beginning, I don't know, like, like another a letter or a number after the name so mm -hmm. they can recognize which one is who. We had, we had in the past with two Russians, we had in, uh, we had with very similar name, we yes. had twins, Yes. Uh, in the same category with the same uh, uh, starting starting letter for the for the yeah, name, the... given name, and so it's always a bit complicated. But we, in these cases, if you notice, please let us know so we tell the federation to update the name. I mean, to tell us how to update the name in order not to have this confusing people on, on spot because even even for the speaker when they call even for the judo yeah. control when they call it's complicated to know if they send one or the other yeah if they're from the same country it's a problem if same country it's, yes of course. if it's two different countries then shouldn't be a problem because you have a country code yeah. yes. after so we had okay. we had like two weeks ago uh, Tajik and Uzbek or Tajik and Azari with the same family name and the same yeah. practically the same name. And with the Koreans, it can happen really. With the, the Koreans, of course, <laughs> the Kim yeah. family. It's uh... so yes. This is okay. I'm I'm really glad that you're asking so many questions so we can clear things. So if there are any more. You're more than welcome. Maybe if no, not connected to the draw, maybe it can be some other issue that that you came upon. So I will send the link to the latest version. Um, yes. If One thing, thing, if you if you change uh, the name because it's asked in uh, during the competition to change the name because of a spelling mistake or whatever or a date of birth because yes. you can do it and this yes. reflects the judo base please yes. let us know yes so this is this can happen 
uh, very easily. I will uh, just explain this and then go later. For example, um, people can come and they have a wrong name here. It can uh, usually with seniors, it's not that often, but with cadets or uh, veterans in veterans, there were a uh, few cases of this. So you can change uh, the atlas, uh, edit atlas detail, and you can actually change the name here. But it's a really good practice to get maybe some photo of the document why you changed it because you know you, you should have some document uh, on on base of which you change this name uh, and also to inform Alien, uh, 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 Corina, and Ziad are managing most of the information. If I'm correct, uh, it's good to let them know so there is not any abuse of the system. You know, so some, we we have a log. We have also a log in in judo base yes. about, but we seldom check it actually. So if we would be good and good collaboration in between yeah. all of us to to have this uh, warning, it's just send a message. I yes. mean, someone someone will take care. Also because this has to reflect to the to the um, other ranking, so the files, mm -hmm. and it can be that there is a real problem with the person. Yes. yes. So that it was entered in the system with the wrong name, just to, um, uh, let's say, uh, find a way to have the person registered uh, out of any control. So it's always better to, to have a double check. Yes. Sometimes okay. it's a real it's a real mistake from the federations because yes. they cannot they cannot the federation you have to know that the federation themselves cannot change the name in judo base, nor the name nor the date of birth, yes. and this is mm -hmm. to avoid problems of tricking tricking problems, like changing the date you can enter someone in cadets which is not cadet. Yes, I mean okay. Yeah, th thank you. Make sure, and this is part of our, let's say, responsibility. Yes. Okay. Um, there is one other question. If there are too many athletes in one category and clashes with ranking, do we do the same codes to resolve the matter? I'm not really sure I understand. What do you mean by too many athletes in one category? Too many. You I, mean I, like, I... yes? Yeah, like uh, one of our uh, famous uh, countries, the uh, Koreans, sometimes uh, we experience that uh, there are too many Koreans and then um, it oh. clashes with the ranking. Oh, yeah, so I, I, it, I, I understand what you mean now. Yes. Okay. So Thank you. Uh, there is a priority how to select uh, uh, in the draw, how to make it. So we have seeders is a number one priority. And then the seeders should have a free first round if possible, and then they should be divided by countries. But if you have, like it also happens in uh, European uh, competitions, I know, then you have like 10 athletes from one country entered and like 16 athletes altogether. And this means that the two athletes will meet in the first round from the same country. Um, is th this correct? This is what you're thinking yeah but yeah. Uh, in 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 the pawn org uh it doesn't do the draw yeah but here here the draw will be made uh okay. here the the draw will be made uh, no problem um Thank you. and and the rule goes like like i said first the eight seeders then the rule that the seeders should have free first round if possible and then the third rule is to put the countries apart and if the third rule cannot be obeyed, it will just make a draw and it will just ignore this rule because it's not possible. So it will just go through. There is a, a warning message, no? No, no, it does not. No more? No, it no just more. makes a draw. It just makes a draw. Okay. Because at the point there was a warning, maybe one of the first versions. No, no, it, it, was, we were, uh, it was discussed, but it doesn't make a warning. It just makes a draw. Um, uh, uh, 
considering first two rules and it cannot obey the third rule because it's otherwise it wouldn't be po possible to make so it just ignores the for the third rule if it's not possible to to go by it okay any more questions so uh it will make a warning if you have unconfirmed athletes. It will make a warning if you have seeders on the same same place. Uh, these two warnings you will have uh, when you're making the draw. So, for example, if you forgot to, to confirm a person and you do a test draw, you will have a pop-up. Uh, there is an unconfirmed uh, person in this draw. Do you want to make it anyway? And you will make the draw without this person in the draw. Uh, the draw. Or you can just go and check. Um, it's better to delete a person who didn't come, uh, or maybe you just forgot to confirm it during the accreditation. So we have this additional warning. Oh, I can go back to this. We we were already discussing, but we can go through some options in the contest order again. So I can set winner, we can set winner manually, or we can also set no winner double Hansukomak. This was the case again, uh, this this com this competition. Um, yes, thanks. <laughs> thanks. Yes, again, again, again. double Hansukomak or double Ferchido is, is the same. Or, uh, yeah, or yeah. double, also double injured. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah, so you yeah, can... Yeah. Uh, yeah. <laughs> yeah, it happened. happened. I know it happened. Uh, there was in veterans. It happened that uh, they were calling for the competitors, and neither of them appeared in the veterans. They were like no one was there. They were calling, and uh, no one was coming. We had we had the case. We had the case at the Olympics. Don't forget. Yes. yes. No way. Yeah. So you can click here, and you set the winner. You can also set the score. So what it was, Ipan Vazari, and you click the winner. You can uh, remove winner, like we said, and uh, you should clear the fight uh, also. Um, and you can also remove it from plan uh, or uh, skip contest. Skip contest will mean that the this contest will not be in the contest order anymore. It will just skip it. No dessert. This is if you go back to the contest order a little bit. OK, but for example, if you if you uh, skip it. Yes. Uh, what happens with the result? Uh, you don't have the result. Yeah, of you course don't, you don't you, have the result because it's not going anywhere. So yeah. the next one you had to set the winner. Yeah, but this. This skip contest should be made only in some special cases, like you know, uh, yeah, double consokomakes and stuff like that. So you actually don't have uh, competitors yeah. ah, in the, for the, in the for the double ansokomake. Yeah, yeah. Uh, just for you to know, if you have if you put like a double ansokomake on the first one. Yes, uh, I, I can I can show you like. Yeah, like you, here, you for remember example, that we did. Yeah, yeah. So you have no opponent. Here. Yeah. This happens if you set double consokomake, you see this contest here now. It yes. will it will give winner immediately. So what you yes. should do, you should come here and remove the winner, and this contest will go normally to the scoreboard because with it, only one name. it should go. Yeah, with only this because name, it will go to the scoreboard. The scoreboard operators confirm the winner, and then it goes on. But this this will happen. So if you have, I can show you again. If I set here. No winner double consokomake. Again, you see in the next contest, go here, remove winner, and this contest will go normally to the scoreboard. So this is like special case. Mm. Special case that happened last week. Yeah. <laughs> yes, uh, that can happen. And also, uh, sometimes it happens like here. Here in the draw section, you make the draw, uh, you can set overweight athletes, but Whatever you're trying to do later on with the with the um, draw that was made should be done here in the result section. For example, here I can also disqualify, set winner, 
So the similar things I can do in contest order, I can also do in results. So maybe sometimes it is easier to go to results because it's, you know, it's easier to see. So for example, here, I will say here, set double Hansoku Make, and you see empty here, and I double click this one, you see it goes here. So I say here, clean winner, and it will do the same thing. So you know we can do it in in both both sections. Yeah. So I would really suggest to to take this database uh, that we sent uh, and check all these play. You can play. You can do all the sort of crazy things. You cannot break anything. Um, and then you know again just go to here, restore database again the new file and you can play again and you can do it over and over again as many times as you want. So you get really familiar with the program, you can check everything and so on. There was another question uh, today. Here in the time block, you have see like streaming IDs and streaming and so on. This is made for the national competitions. They can use this for the national competitions. For judo based competitions, uh, we set uh, all this streaming and so on in admin IGF uh, org, a program where we put all the streams inside and so on. Uh, also in that program, we make the draw uh, time block because here you see you cannot, you don't have one day before to put the draw in. So we do the draw for the streaming, we do in um, this admin, like we explained on the first webinar. So we do it there, we also set the streams there, uh, and so on, uh, it is connected to this. So uh, for the streaming and so on, um, we uh, the control room communicates uh, what to put, put where, so you have all this information. Okay, any more questions? Okay, so I guess we answered all this. Can you put back to presentation? So this is for the future webinars. Next uh, week we will have uh, graphics and streaming. So about informations about how to use graphics and uh, streaming configuration and so on. So we'll answer a bit more that. And the week after that we will go through team competition because team competition is a little bit specific. <laughs> There are some things that are different, and uh, the main thing is with um, they're not so often, so it's more confusing than individual competitions because usually people who are running are doing much more individual competitions than teams, and uh, there are some things that are done a bit differently. And after that, on the 3rd of April, we will go through more details about camera, camera settings, recording, advanced settings like format, uh, white balance, how to make uh, picture be better quality, streaming better quality, recording better quality. So we can really, the idea is to produce the really good outcome for everyone because we think a lot of work is, is put into, you know, making everything, setting up everything. And it's really a shame if the final result is not as good as it could be only because some settings on the camera or some settings on the recording was not optimal. So we'll go through through some of this more detailed introduction and also, you know, to put questions about what is best to do. <laughs>